Jolton are still fighting to keep a gas compressor station out of their neighborhood. In fact, Kid Rock was among the people who came out to the mansion at Fontenelle to raise money to possibly take their fight against that compressor station to court. Stephanie Langston takes a closer look at the issue. We are totally against this and do not want it to happen. It's a battle that Zan Martin has been fighting for more than a year. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Nearly 200 people opened their wallets Saturday night to try and stop the gas compressor plant from coming to their neighborhood. Tennessee Gas Pipeline wants to build the compressor as part of the Broad Run Expansion Project on 82 acres in Jolton near three existing pipelines. The plan is to compress natural gas so it can travel more quickly from West Virginia through Tennessee to the Gulf Coast. I got involved initially because I own a farm where we grow by organic standards, and this is sort of directly across the street from our organic farm. Kinder Morgan's Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company has been approved by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to move forward with their plans, but these residents want a rehearing and have hired an environmental attorney from Washington, D.C. to help with its case. It abuts the only public park in Jolton, where the children play after school, the adults walk the trails and take Zumba classes. It's just so inappropriate. Businesses and residents fear the facility will release toxic air emissions, create groundwater contamination, and noise. We really have concerns not only for our, for our community and those of us who live adjoining this, but also for all of Nashville because it is a high Here's pollution. Source reps from Kinder Morgan say the law mm -hmm. requires them to make sure the noise is no louder than 55 decibels, which they say is equivalent to a quiet conversation. They also tell us the plant would not release toxic air emissions, and that they would have a complete environmental compliance plan. Stephanie Langston, News 2. If the gas compressor station gets final approval, construction will start in December. Tennessee's Department of Environment and Conservation, their Division of Air Pollution Control will have a public hearing at 1 p.m. on November 15th in the William R. Snodgrass, Tennessee Tower.